one of my biggest fears when I went pro was flying. I hated flying. Obviously, no one really enjoys the turbulence or the chop or anything like that. But for me, I was like, you know, what is going to get me over this little, this little hump that I'm at? And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try to learn how to fly. Uh, Fort Lauderdale here, and Palm Beach up here. Of course, they're going to draw the airspace out to meet the needs of that region. Does the D override the C? It's a great question. There's a ton of stuff. You know, learning maneuvers. Maneuvers is really important. You know, to know how to, you know, fly in the wind and land in the wind and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's definitely time consuming. And for me, I haven't had a ton of time to study. So I pretty much, any chance I'm gonna get, I, I'm like, oh, I want to go fly. Clouds are broken at 3,000, so we should be able to good to get in the pattern and. Can we fly in the rain. Sure, thousand feet in three miles. Okay. We're good to go. And check the fuel quantity. Sorry, fuel pump on. Go ahead. What you looking for there? Looking for positive. Fuel flow. Fuel flow. Right, okay. It's in the green. Good. Racing, you're so in control that, you know, that's a big part of your life is you're in control a lot. And then hopping up in a plane and not knowing what's going on for me was pretty stressful, but I feel a lot better about it now. Racing gives me a way bigger rush than flying. I think flying actually calms me down. Talking to the control tower when you have to spit numbers and stuff at them real fast, yeah, that gets you going, but you don't want to be a daredevil. You want to land and take off safe and have no excitement, really. You just want it to be really smooth and good, and racing definitely is the, the exciting factor of my life. <laughs>